Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Exploring with Jimmy. It's been a while since I've been on here. Um, you haven't seen me, unless you've been watching my TikToks. Because I've been on TikTok the last three years. I've been off. How many of you know that I was dealing with kidney stones and now I'm dealing with the after effects of kidney stones. It's not very pleasant, but um, I have a stent in my right kidney right now to keep everything open and to keep everything going. So, but, um, but the last three years, four years, four years, it's been four years since I went in bottle digging. I've been um, on TikTok. Plus, I've been um, going through thrift stores, um, secondhand shops, like the, like the Goodwill, and I've come across some amazing bottles. So what I decided to do was, um, until I can go out digging, which I don't know when, actually. The doctors haven't uh, figured out when I can go back out um, because my kidney is still bad. So anyways, so I thought what I would do, explore my own bottle collection. So, you know, I um, actually found this in a thrift shop and it's a Coca-Cola bottle. And the best thing about this Coca-Cola bottle is, uh, now I'm drawing a blank. This came out the first year, um, was it 1915 was the first year Coke used this design and it was, it was a good one because they still use it to this day. But you'll notice on the bottom, it's nothing. So I think this was around 1915, I believe. No maker's mark. We'll get into Maker's Mark. I want to explore that. I want to explore a lot of things. So, my main glass that I collect is Dominion glass, which is, you know, I got a hair insulator. It's Dominion glass. And uh, sometimes the American glass sneaks in. This is Henning, is that Henning Gray, number nine, made in the US. The reason why I got it is because the color. The color is amazing. You can't really see the color there, can you? It's amazing. So, my glass collection spans from about 1850 basically right through to 1960s, early 70s. And I'll explain to you as the series goes on why I collect what I do. So, like this one here, I got this at the Goodwill Pepsi. Um, the paint on it is not the best, but it hasn't even been cleaned out. So that's Pepsi. This is from the 50s, okay? I love these medicine bottles. This one is, I think, is around between 1915 and 1920. It has no maker's mark. Um, has a little circle. So this was Dr. Dr. S. N. Thomas, electric oil. And for external use only, uh, and internal. So you look, look, there's exterior, internal, and this bottle is Northrop. Um, Northrop and Lyman Company Limited. Toronto, Ontario. I like these because 
they're so small. And there's always an interesting story about the medication that was in this, you know. It was like 90% alcohol. But I also like Dominion glass. I go in for candy jars, the lids. Um, this one here, you can see the mark. Dominion glass. So this was probably in the 1920s. Um, because uh, before a certain year, you didn't need, you know, there was no maker's mark on the bottom. This is also Dominion glass. And there's a little diamond with the D. And another Goodwill. It cost me $2.79. I got this mainly because of the color. This lid doesn't match. But I have a lid from my digging years. I just have to go down and find it. But, so. Now when I find stuff when I'm digging, if it's good shape, I'll, I'll keep it. Like the crown jar lids, I've got these, um, I don't know, I must have about 60 or 70 of them sitting in a box. Starting when they were first made in Hamilton, Ontario. Um, to dig out that one. So that's what I collect. Of course, milk bottles. And this one is Crystal Dairy, Harriston, Ontario. And it would be, I don't know, late 40s, early 50s. And this one here is a green spot. And this was orange juice. So if you've ever found it. This one here. It's made, um, oh, this is MTC company, I believe. Anyways, when you get this, like, I like buying bottles with the labels on because, uh, you know, you, you guys know when you go digging, you you know, you pull out a bottle, there's no label on it. Um, let's just say this one here, for instance, had no label. I've seen a lot of guys just toss it. Well, that's, that's not good because you're tossing out stuff that, one, you could be making money on. Um, a lot of people like to buy bottles for their, you know, man cave, rec room, whatever. And they want some bottles in it. And some people want them in their bathroom so you can get makeup bottles, perfume bottles. Uh, you can find the antique lipstick containers when you're digging, which I found. Here's another one I like. This is Poison 1920, I believe, 1920. And you can see the little skull and crossbones. And it says poison on it. And it's iodine. This was an iodine bottle. 1920s. I actually, I've dug these up before. So I thought, if you guys are interested, I'll explore my bottle collection. So it'll take a while. And I figured it'd be a good thing to everybody to see. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you're interested in seeing my collection. Alright, take care. Bye for now.